Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm Jenny Beauty and today I'm going to be doing another story time. Um, I don't do story times very often, mostly because my life is kind of boring and not a lot happens. The first story time I ever did was the one about a cop scanning my fake ID in his cop car. So this is going to be kind of like a spin-off of that one. Um, not necessarily the same story, but just more things that have happened with my fake ID. So if you would like to hear my stories, please just keep on watching. So let me just start off by saying, if this video has a lot of comments about, oh, get your fake ID here, get your fake ID there, get freaking social security cards for me, do not buy anything from these people. Please, please, please do not. They are just trying to steal your money. I'm pretty sure of it. But anyways, the fake ID that I had was not necessarily fake. It was technically a real ID. We just got it from a friend who kind of looked like me. So my husband, which was my boyfriend at the time, I was about 19, um, he paid this girl $100 to use her ID because he was 23 and I was 19. So it kind of sucked that he wanted to go out and I wasn't able to get into all these places. So yeah. So $100 and I had an ID and I was set to go. This ID actually worked really well for the first couple months, uh, probably like six months. So one day we were out back in Tennessee, just casual day. We'd been to Outback plenty of times before and we sat like at the bar and it was myself, Shay, which is my husband and his best friend. So we were just sitting there and I ordered a Long Island because if you don't know, Outback has like the best Long Islands. And the girl asked for my ID, obviously. So I gave it to her and she kind of like looked at me all funny and said, okay, you know, she asked me my address, full name, date of birth, yada yada, the whole nine. Um, and she still didn't quite believe that it was me. So she calls over her manager and by this time I am freaking out. And her manager comes over. Luckily her manager was like, probably like 25. She seemed super cool. So she walks up and she literally, she had me stand up and looked at my ID and she goes, can't fake five two, serve her whatever she wants. So she gives me my ID back and the girl obviously had to serve me whatever because her boss told her to. So yeah, I ended up getting my Long Island and we started talking to the girl obviously because we're sitting at the bar and we told her that we actually knew a girl that she worked with. And this girl actually happened to be one of like her really good friends. So um, she's like, oh, if I had known that in the beginning, I never would have carded you, like blah, 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 whatevs. So yeah, and then it doesn't end there. Like that was fine. You know, it was kind of scary, but whatever. So then uh, about a week, maybe two weeks later, the girl that we both mutually knew was getting married. So Shay, my husband, was one of the groomsmen, and this girl was one of the bridesmaids. So we go to the rehearsal dinner and obviously we were there and she was there and she talked to the bride and she was like, hey, what's that girl's name? And she told her, not you know, not knowing anything about what was going on, and she was like, I knew it. Cause she was like a devious little one. She wanted to prove that that was not me. She like knew with all of her heart and she had to like reassure herself. So the guy that was with us at Outback that day ended up going back to Outback like two months later and that girl was working and he's with a totally like his family or something. She runs up to his table and started screaming at him. She's like, if you ever bring that girl in here ever again, I will kick you all out and you will be banned from Outback or whatever. She just had like that like power thing. She just wanted to have the power. So anyways, he was totally embarrassed and he like screamed at her apparently and like she got really embarrassed and kind of like walked off and I haven't heard anything from her since. But anyways, yeah, it was really annoying. This story is a little bit more like towards the end of my fake ID days. I was pretty much about to be 21 and there was this club in Iowa where we lived at. It's not open anymore because people were getting shot, of course. So anyways. There was this club that we would go to every once in a while, more or less with like groups of people because I'm not much of a clubber. I don't like to dance. So there was one weekend where Shay and I went to a car show uh, with one of his friends and we didn't really know anybody yet, but a couple of the other guy's friends came and we kind of like got to know these people. And after the car show, we just walked across the street to Applebee's and you know, got dinner and I ordered a drink because everybody else was drinking. So 
I think I actually got a Long Island there too, oddly enough. But anyways, um, so I ordered my Long Island and there was a girl there who I did not realize, but she, her dad was a cop and she's a cop now, so it was like authority issues. Um, so she looks at me and she was like, oh my gosh, you look so young, how old are you? And I said, I think my ID said like 25. <laughs> um, so anyways, I was like 25. And she's like, no way, let me see your ID. So like I let her see it thinking, like not knowing that she was a cop. So I showed it to her and she was kind of like, oh, <laughs> you know, like kind of didn't really say anything. And she was like, I just wondered because you look so young and like my dad's a cop and I'm a cop. So I just like didn't expect you to be 25. And you know, I hate when people use fake IDs and stuff. So I'm just sitting there like, uh-huh. Yep, me too. So anyways, um, she never really said anything about it, whatever. So a couple months go by and we obviously had gone to this club more and more. And she actually started working at the place where the club was like in. Because the place where the club is has like a casino in it, go-karts, arcade, a couple restaurants, and this club. So we ended up going to this club with a couple of our friends and we had gone like three weekends in a row. And the girl had, I guess, I think she found my Facebook is what the deal was and realized that I was not 21 because um, obviously <laughs> I'm not smart enough to take my age off of Facebook. So um, yeah, she found my Facebook and she like reported it to her fellow police at this place. And luckily, Shay and I were out of town. We were back home in Tennessee visiting and one of my good friends had gone to the club that night and they recognized that like she was somebody that I came to the club with a lot. So they came up to her with a photo of me and her like off of the security cameras or something. And they were like, if you ever bring this girl into this club again, we know she is not 21. You will be taken to jail. She will be taken to jail and you will be banned from this whole place. And so I think like the next weekend was my 21st birthday. So just for fun on my 21st birthday, like we went over there and hung out and they like, they looked at me, but then they realized that like I was 21, so they couldn't do anything and everything was cool. So yeah, I think those are the only three times that I ever had any trouble with my fake ID, but it was pretty scary all three times really, because honestly the worst one was the cop car one just because like, that could have been bad. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and my story. I'm not the best like storyteller, but I hope I did okay. Um, anyways, if you have a similar story, leave me a comment down below. Let me know. I like to know stories too, so yeah, let me know. And I hope to see you in the next video. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Bye.